Morgan, back again with another very unofficial travel guide. Today we're skiing in Austria. Depending on where you're used to going skiing, uh, you might be surprised when you get here to uh, where we are is Meyerhofen. Meyerhofen is included in the Zillertal 3000 area and we uh, stayed in Meyerhofen at a great hotel called the Hotel Austria, which I can highly recommend. We have been skiing on the Hintertuxer Glacier and today we're going up to Penken. And right now we're in the Penkeberg Bahn, the Penkeberg Gondola. Like I was saying, you might be surprised when you get to Meyerhofen that you don't see any skiing. Because the valley is so low that there's typically not a lot of snow down there and the whole skiing area starts much higher. So you have to take the gondola up to the skiing, which is the same way that it is at the glacier. Well, the last time I went skiing in the States was at, um, where was that? Mount Hood, Mount Hood Meadows in Oregon. And I think that when I was there, you got one of these stickers, you know, like a sticker that you put on a metal thing that you put like on your zipper. And then the lift people see that and they know that, that you're good. But here, and a lot of the places that I've been skiing here in Austria or in Switzerland, you get like a hard card. And then you put that, uh, if you have like a, a pocket on your arm or on your upper left breast pocket, that's where you should put it because there's all these scanners. So when you go into the, the gondolas or the lifts, the uh, turnstile doesn't open unless you have one of these. And that's how they can control who paid and who didn't. And another thing that you might not understand is usually these cards, they have a deposit on them. So, you know, if you're looking at the price and it says 40 euros for an all-day pass, and then you'll pay 43, meaning that the three is the three euros that you get back when you give it back. But if you want to keep it, you can keep it. It just is going to cost you then three euros. Throughout our time skiing here in Austria, we've experienced every different kind of lift you can imagine from double T lifts to single T lifts to chair lifts, super chair lifts, gondolas. And here we have the 150 Tux, which is a gigantic gondola with a place for 150 people in it that goes up to the top of Penken. Look it up. Up here at the top today, it's snowing a little bit. It's not very cold. It's actually beautiful skiing conditions, except that the uh, visibility is about 0 0.5. You can see basically nothing. There's the ski tips, T-bar, and nothing. We're going to do a sight test here. Kali's going to go skiing in front of me and we'll see how long it takes before I can't see him anymore. Not very long. And he's gone. It's not really fun to ski in this kind of weather. One piece of advice I can give you if you're coming, going skiing on a glacier is be sure that you pack stuff for all different weather conditions because down in the valley it was like, it was like in the 60s like almost shorts weather and up here you know 2,000 feet higher it's actually really cold so make sure that you bring stuff <laughs> for all sorts of conditions because I brought this thing and I didn't think I was going to need it because it was so warm way down there but up here it's definitely necessary <laughs> It's already kind of spring conditions here on the mountain, so if you want to go from the very top all the way back down to the bottom, there's a few paths that they've set up, like a, it's basically like a little street of snow. Check it out, through this little town. Came from up there, well now it's all foggy, you can't see it anymore. Came all the way down, around, through the village, across the street 
going down through all this village and then you can see over there the lift that goes back up to where the rest of the snow is but this snow down here because it's so spring-like is really tough to ski on it's all sticky and it grabs your skis and uh, this snow street is really skinny so I wouldn't recommend it for people who aren't at least intermediate skiers because you can easily just go flying right over the edge or like I did yesterday get your ski tip stuck in the dirt and then fly onto your face. Well, I hope this video has helped answer some questions you may have had about skiing in Austria or Europe in general, and I'd really appreciate it if you press that like button. If you want to see more video guides like this to skiing and other tourist destinations around the world, then subscribe to my channel here and check out Morgan's Very Unofficial Travel Guides at Facebook. See you soon!